The phrase, good things come in small packages, may be a cliché, but in the case of the compact but diverse whales, it's undeniably true. Wales offers myriad opportunities for escaping into nature. An extensive network of paths makes Wales a hiker's paradise, and castles are a common feature of the Welsh landscape. You could visit a different one every day for a year and still not see them all. But beyond that, it's interactions with the Welsh people that will remain in your memory the longest. In 2012, all of Wales' famously beautiful coastal paths have been linked up in one continuous 870-mile route. The best stretches take in the Gower's beautiful beaches, Pembrokeshire's multicoloured cliffs and limestone arches. The rugged northwest corner of the country has rocky mountain peaks, glorious under the summer sun and even better under a blanket of snow. Snowdonia is one of Wales' absolute treasures. Some places have a presence all of their own, and that's certainly true of St David's. Officially a city, but more like a large village, the peaceful home of Wales's patron saint has attracted the spiritually minded for centuries. There's barely a town in Wales of any note that doesn't have a castle towering over it, but Conwy Castle's solid walls and fairy tale towers make it arguably the most beautiful of them all. Many fine restaurants have sprung up in the Welsh countryside. Local craft breweries supply the better local pubs, while Penderyn has brought whisky back to this once teetotaler land. High season runs July through August. April to June are the driest months. Travel costs in Wales can range from less than £50 a day if you choose a dorm bed and cheap meal in a cafe or pub, to over £120 a day for a good hotel and three course meal. Buses are the most useful form of public transport, with routes connecting most towns and villages. A car will get you to remote corners of Wales not connected to public transport. They talk a lot in Wales about hiraith, a Welsh word that refers to a sense of longing for the green, green grass of home. Even if you're not from Wales, a feeling of hiraith may well hit you when you leave, only to be sated when you return.